Hey guys, uh, Wolverine. Um, I'm here to talk about the uh, Canik 55, and it's the uh, TP9. And what I'm really going to talk about today is the importer from the manufacturer of Canik. The importer is Century Arms. I'm going to talk about Century Arms uh, customer service. Um, I purchased this gun a few years ago, so and when I did, it came like this, except for it did have a paddle for the holster right here. And when I got it out, I noticed there was a small crack in the paddle. So, the paddle was no good. We tried to fix it. We made it worse. So, the paddle was broken. The case had a crack in it. Just, you know, small crack on the side of the case. Not a big deal. Um, probably happened during shipping. There was nothing wrong with the gun. But it came with the cleaning brush. And it also came with the... Uh, belt loop uh, attachment for the holster so you had two different uh, options of course the manual come with additional back strap now this is the larger one the smaller ones on the gun now and it came with two 18 round metgar magazines standard and Uh, Serpa style holster and that's how it came just like that so after watching a few videos on YouTube I noticed that hey I wasn't getting the same stuff that other people were getting in their gun and with with their gun so I contacted Century Arms via email. They emailed me back and they needed more information. So I had to send in the serial number to the gun and my name and of course proof of my age. And a gentleman there said that they would take care of it and he gave me a basically really not a purchase order but an order number. So I had the order number and he said it would uh, probably be a few weeks. So uh, a couple weeks went by. I said, nah, I'm going to call and check just to see because I haven't received anything. Um, I called. Uh, their number was online, customer service number. Um, actually ended up talking to the person that I was emailing with. So um, he said, yeah, give me that order number. And uh, I gave it to him. Uh, he looked at it and he goes, has not been shipped yet. Looks like it's on back order waiting for more from the manufacturer. I said, oh, okay. He said, give me a few more days or whatever and call me back. Well, a few days passed, and I didn't have to call him back because I received a package um, by UPS. UPS showed up at the door. They brought me a package. I opened the package, and this was in the package. What they did at Century Arms was they sent me a brand new case, and this has the newer um, double eagle or double headed eagle on it. The newer logo for the Canics. I open it up, and one day send me another brush, a paddle that is not broken, an additional belt loop uh, attachment, the cleaning rod, another Serpa style holster. The three or the two sights, sight posts, and the tool to replace them, which I didn't get in the original. And they sent me the tool that you use to replace the um, back straps. So they sent me the speed loader, which I did not receive the when I ordered mine the first time and they sent an additional 18 round metgar magazine so basically what it looks like guys is they received these from the manufacturer opened it up took the gun out replaced the holster put the uh, cleaning rod there closed it up packaged it threw my address on it and sent it to me so 
all I've got to say is that is awesome. Um, I was basically trying to get a replacement for the paddle and maybe get a speed loader. Okay, that's all I was trying. That's all I asked for in the email, and they went out of their way and sent everything. <sighs> Amazing. Um, it just just goes to show you if you're having some issues with something, it doesn't hurt to contact the uh, manufacturer or the distributor. Um, I had the same issue with Blackhawk. I had a Blackhawk uh, mag holder break. The clip broke off of it. Contacted them. They sent it, sent me a couple right out. No problem. But the TP9. I've had this for a few years. I've got lots of rounds to it. Probably over 2,000 rounds at least. Um, it's a great gun. Um, there, that's for your safety safety sallies out there. Um, but this is the older version, and it's got the like two stage trigger. So um, of course you see the red indicator. So pull it back. And it stops right there. There's your first stage, and then you have your single action and the reset on it right there okay now up here's the decocker everyone's you know up in arms about the new canic tp9 sa with a decocker on it um, when you decock this gun it doesn't make the gun a paperweight so it turns it into double action then get back to single action so yeah i love this gun i recommend it for $299, anyone looking for a uh, first gun or a budget gun. Um, I even carried this concealed. I've, I've concealed this, but I'm a pretty big guy. so. But I've concealed this inside the waistband um, with a Black Hawk holster. Um, I, I did get a smaller one. I went with that Taurus. It's smaller, but um, this is a great gun. It's a great range gun. It's a great home defense gun. Um, you've seen a couple of my videos probably with the... Uh, Barska flashlight on it, but uh, God, love this gun. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. You know, kudos and shout out to Century Arms, their customer service. Um, I did have to wait a few uh, weeks, but uh, man, they made things right. So, check them out. Uh, like I said, if you're having issues with something, contact the distributor or contact the uh, manufacturer. A lot of times they will help you. Thanks for watching.